Last summer I thought for a little diversion I'd take my family on a camping excursion We were tired of vacations with air-conditioned rooms and such It's swimming pool, room service I thought two weeks way back in the woods Would do us all a world of good Especially the kids, they don't appreciate nature much Yeah, they'd rather watch TV, eat a Twinkie <laughs> well, my wife wasn't sure, but I said, look here, honey, we'll have a lot of fun and save a lot of money. <laughs> now, right there's where I made my first mistake, friends. I figured a tent, a few cans of beans, marshmallows, what could it cost? What with sleeping bags and the hiking shoes and all the other paraphernalia that you use, it came to $6,947.22. Yeah, but like the man said, you can use it all again. Well, we packed the new Land Rover with a maximum load and drove till we run plum out of road and then backpacked six hours straight up a steep incline. Briars, brambles, and cockleburgs. Then we saw it, the perfect sight. There were trees on the left and a creek on the right of a clearing to pitch the tent, just what we had in mind. Eat your heart out, field and stream. Now, pitching the tent took four hours or so, and by then the sun was sinking low and the kids were whining and crying for something to eat. And then my wife said, where's the restroom? And I told her, and she grinned and said, yeah, now, where is it really? So we broke out the soda crackers and sardines and Vienna sausages and pork and beans and sat around the fire to enjoy a well-earned treat. Mm-mm, good. None of that city-fied junk food for us. Kind of reminds me of wild hickory nuts. Let's all go camping. You'll never have it so good. It's great getting back to nature out there in the woods. Amongst the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees Where the animals are our friends Once you get hooked on camping you never like the city again Well, we just weren't ready for what happened then When sparks from the campfire carried by the wind Set a pile of leaves and two 89.95 sleeping bags aflame Little Delbert was going for the marshmallows Thought his part of the deal Yeah, spread from the bags and the leaves to the trees Raging out of control and fanned by the breeze I thought all was lost and then thank God it started to rain I don't mean shower, friends We're talking pair them up, Noah, one more time Well, the fire was out and we huddled in the tent And wore slap out from the day's events Floating on our air mattresses in mud ankle deep Whereupon my wife said, I really need to know now Where is the restroom? And when it finally stopped raining, it was cold and late, and those mysterious noises kept us awake, and we all knew we'd be mauled or axe murdered in our sleep. At this point, I knew the ghost stories earlier was a bad idea. <laughs> I was dozing off just about to dream about a holiday inn when a blood-curdling scream announced the presence of something in the tent covered with hair. And that's when I said, leap up our son and light to cold when I think he's something in here with us. Well, we lit the lantern and there he was, a little beady-eyed fuzzy looking at us and we chased him out of the tent head on into a bear. Yeah, he just finished off the groceries and was frothing at the mouth. I ain't talking no gentle Ben here, friends. <laughs> he reared back on his haunches and let out a ground. We all turned white and let out a howl and went tearing through the woods in hysterics without a flashlight or a lamp. It's amazing what adrenaline will do. I mean, I was a track star in high school, but my chubby little wife just flat-footed past me with a child under each arm like I was taking a Sunday stroll. Yeah, never mind the restroom. <laughs> well, somehow we all made it to the car, and I had to crank it with a quick hot wire because I'd left the keys in my backpack back at the camp. Yeah, along with my shoes, wallet, Rolex, and $6,947.22 worth of camping equipment. We went flying down that dark muddy trail Slipping and sliding like a bat out of hell Till we drove through a stream we crossed on our way in Lord knows how we missed all them trees at 90 miles an hour sideways. Now the rain made it deeper than it was before, and the water started pouring in around the doors. We had to swim for shore and never saw that Land Rover again. Yeah, it just floated off. Last I saw was the taillights going over the falls. <laughs> State Farm ain't gonna never believe this. Well, we finally stumbled into civilization, called a friend of mine from a Chevron station, and he drove out and picked us up and took us all on home. Wet, cold, tired, 
talking to ourselves. <laughs> they say take only pictures and leave only footprints. Well, we left eight sleeping bags, two trail master tents, a Coleman stove, $400 worth of groceries, a Land Rover, a Rolex, and every stitch of clothing that wife ever owned. Oh, yeah, had to take it all with her. Main coat, makeup, electric curling iron. Never know what she might need, she said. Let's all go camping. You never have it so good. It's great getting back to nature out here in the woods amongst the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees where the animals are our friends. Once you get hooked on camping, you never like the city again. I'll tell you one thing, friend. Next summer we're going to Daytona Beach. For what this trip cost, we could have gone to Hawaii twice. First class. I'm talking hula girls and them little pink fizzy drinks with a little parasol sticking out.